Hello my dear soul and welcome to a new reading. Let's see what are the energies that surround you right in this moment. So for this we are going to choose a few oracle cards here and I'll let you know what they want you to know for today. What's going on? So let's start with this dragon and then we take of course the tarot for more insight so the dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fury personality it is also a symbol of passion and fire you are being asked to practice self-control and be cautious so that your passion does not lead you into trouble now with this specific card, you are being advised that this time of your life, being cautious and being in control is everything, right? Because you have a great energy here. You have a great strength. And you know what? Not everyone needs to see everything that you are capable of, you know? So self-control is um, is one of the advices that you get here in order to to make the best out of a situation in your life and we look at the buffalo with the abundance keyword and right now we're seeing that abundance and liberation are finally on the way to you it comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifesting power of gratitude. You will always have plenty when you express gratitude to every part of creation. So right now you may be in the way towards a big change in your life. You are at the beginning of something here and self-control is what you need to pay attention to. So definitely if you are asking yourself should i go in this new adventure should i take this new path should i start from the beginning here yes your cards are showing you you have the adventure card here and it's telling you that it is that time to explore new directions you see and take risks in order to grow as an individual change indeed might be uncomfortable but it is necessary so we have the lion here and we saw that your biggest challenge right now is to control your emotions and to be aware of how you deal with certain people or situations in your life right now definitely you are at the um, beginning of a new phase in your life something new something that is putting you in an uncomfortable situation uh, but you will just do great. You just have to trust. You will do just great. Now, here, you are invited to control your temper, right? You are also encouraged to explore how to express your needs or thoughts more openly and constructively to reduce your level of frustration. So, remember, your passion can lead you to trouble. So, when Watch your words, watch your, um, your gesture. Everything matters, everything counts. Not everyone is, you know, um, worthy of to, 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 to know you the way you are. And nobody needs to, not everyone needs to see what you are capable of. Some people deserve to be treated with silence with indifference so keep that amazing energy for more constructive things and don't leave it all out for the wrong people or situations keep your temper challenge yourself to talk less to talk before you think to don't react to everything that's happening around you to everything that people are saying to everything that people are doing self-control my dear soul now 
<clears throat> the hedgehog, hedgehog is telling you trust. This is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand you or get what you are doing, it is no excuse to curl up and hide. Sure, you may need a little bit of space right now, but the world needs your gifts. You are more than worthy. So in the future, you will learn that being more calm, um, taking your time is so important. Also, th the way you react to the situations that are happening right in front of you is everything. And we take now the tarot to get more insight for you. So your challenge right now is to hold your horses, right? To hold your horses. And you have the high priestess here telling us that you already know that. But that's why it's in your challenge. <laughs> the challenge is to really put into practice, right? So there is something around being grateful. And being grateful more um, it will attract more good things in your life. The abundance. Abundance can mean different things for different people. So whatever abundance means for you can be um, can can happen. Can, it's achievable. Some of you you may want more stability. You may want more money. You may want more peace, harmony, security in your life. All these things are not impossible. It's just the way you want to achieve them is everything. And your view towards how you're going to make this happen. So what you have to do is to trust yourself, right? To believe, to have this optimism here and to be creative, now, this is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is, is so beautiful and is so confident. And he's standing out with his creativity, with his self-confidence, with the beauty that he has. So you, my dear soul here, you need to know that... <laughs> Uh, interesting. Um, you need to know that what you are aiming for, it will, you will be able to reach it. Some of you, this new adventure, this um, new direction, it will bring you the abundance and security that you are aiming for. So many of these cards here have the word security. The keyword, security, abundance, stability, attainment, optimism, innovation, gratitude, fulfillment, intuition. So you see, just have a little bit of trust that Queen, <laughs> all right, so Queen of Cups wanted very much to come up here. And the Queen of Cups is a queen uh, that she's very lovely, compassionate, she brings peace. Now, where you go, what you want to do, the changes that you are planning for your life will bring you this stability, will bring you this peace and harmony. If this is something that you are looking for in your life. Now, a decision. Now, this is, this is the... the, the Two of swords is a de decision has to be made. Control with the lion. A new direction. So as you step into this new direction, you need to control your temper. And, you know, if you want different results, you need to act differently. And now we have the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups is a card of renewal, right? It's a card of um, also turning your back to something. Deciding to walk away from something. 
taking a new direction. So change without action cannot be. But also, the action that you take must be different. As the result cannot be different if you do the same old thing. So in the future here, you have, you, you know, you will always have a choice. We make many, many choices in a daily basis from everything. Should I clean now or should I clean later? Should I eat now? Should I eat later? Should I do this or that? Should I give you this or not? We do choices every day. Now, everything is about in the future. How, what you're going to do with, you know, how you're going to change as a person. Because we always have to make new decisions, new choices. So in the future here, if you want to maintain abundance, peace, harmony in your life, you need to step into your power to don't hide, to don't make yourself small when you need to deal with certain situations. Um, you need to be wiser and you need to use the life experiences that you went through until this point to make a bit better future, to make better decisions. So I know we say don't look at the past or don't do the, you know, don't, don't repeat. It's not about repeating something from the past. It's about you must look to, into your past. If you haven't got clear about why you, why you went through certain situations, every situation that you went through, happened because you made certain choices at certain time. Now look at it and make sure that in the future you will use that um, wisdom, that experience to avoid getting yourself in the same places. So let's see. Your challenge here, <laughs> the journey, yes, going into a new journey here, this is the challenge. For some of you, the challenge is to enter into a new community or, you know, to maybe leave a certain community behind you. Nothing is permanent. Don't make your life based on other people or things. Nothing is permanent in this life. Now, what do you need to do? You will, you need to know that there is a partnership. There is a collaboration here, right? Maybe you even have this offer in this moment and you kind of not, you don't know what to do with it. Look at the card, just breathe. And you have the king of uh, wands there telling you, you just have to breathe, right? Take a moment and don't put the worst case scenario in front of you. Be a little bit optimistic because this collaboration here, this partnership might be exactly what you need at this time. Trust your intuition, you will know what to decide. Your intuition is telling you what to do. Because your focus here is on having this abundance in your life. Now, as I said, you know better what this means for you. This is the nine of pentacles. It's money for some of people, some of the people here. For others, it's just abundance can mean being happy, being in peace. Um, just not struggling all the time, not being afraid anymore, you know, just having this peace in your heart. So again, should you go into this new connection, partnership, adventure? Yes. Why? Because only good things will wait for you. But of course, it's not like only 
uh, rainbows here. You must remember what you went through and use the wisdom that you got from past to avoid future difficulties. Now, you make a decision here with this new adventure, new direction. Yes, you might be just a beginner, but who isn't? We always learn, right? So just, just let go and just have that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith. With the Eight of Cups, a card of detachment, of letting go, right? Of something that just doesn't align with what you want in your life. Comes the Death card, which is telling you, let go. Let go. As I said, nothing is permanent in this life. And you need to get clear in your mind with that. In the future, planning. Planning is everything. Planning here, always have a plan. Always have, um, know what you want to do next. It's good to, to be prepared, you know, because look at this, rebirth. Now, this is a brand new beginning here for you. And knowing, having an idea, what, what you don't want. Maybe you don't know exactly what you want, but you know what you don't want. Everyone knows what they don't want. It's everything. Because when you don't, when you know what you don't want, you know what to don't ex accept anymore. So plan because your renewal, your rebirth is so close. You're so close of getting that abundance, whatever that means for your abundance. You just have to... Make use of all the tools that life gave you because you went through a lot of things. So don't just let them waste. Don't allow yourself to go over and over again through same situations, different people. You already got some lessons. So make the best out of the, the lessons that you already uh, you went through. So my dear soul, this is the energy that surrounds you at this time. Thank you so much for being here with me. Can't wait to see you tomorrow with a new reading. Love and light.